Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Planty part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we end our discussion on angiosperms. Now based on whatever we have studied so far, now we have covered all the different types of plants. So now that we have covered them all, let us look at some of the quick comparisons because we have spoken about a lot of different types of plants. So let us quickly have a recap of some comparisons, so which will also be like a revision for you. Distinguish between thallophytes and bryophytes. How do they differ? So we started our discussion with thallophytes. Thallophytes were the ones with no body differentiation and bryophytes had little body differentiation. So let us look at the difference. No plant body differentiation in thallophytes and plant body differentiated into stem and leaf like structures. Talking about the habitat, thallophytes are mostly aquatic. Bryophytes are plant amphibians. That means they can live on land, but on land also they need water. Without water, they cannot complete their life cycle. Examples of thallophytes are algae. Examples of bryophytes are mosses, liverworts, hornworts. These are examples of bryophytes. Okay, let us look at the next one. Distinguish between angiosperms and gymnosperms. This is very straightforward. When we talk about angiosperms, they are covered seeds. That means seeds are enclosed inside fruits. Gymnosperms, we have naked seeds. So here, how reproduction takes place with the help of male and female cones. Angiosperms bear fruits and flowers. In gymnosperm, no fruits, no flowers. Angiosperms. Tracheids are present in vascular bundles. Gymnosperms, tracheids are absent. So even though vascular bundles are present in both of them, but tracheids are present in angiosperms and not in gymnosperms. Angiosperms have broad leaves, whereas gymnosperms have needle-shaped leaves. And because of this specific shape of the leaves, they can adjust to survive in adverse conditions. Angiosperms shed leaves during autumn. Gymnosperms are evergreen. So that is why gymnosperms do not shed their leaves. They can adjust to any adverse situation. So they are the evergreen plants. Distinction between bryophytes, teridophytes and phanerogams. So this is a big distinction. It, it is in brief the discussion which we had some time back. When I talk about the vascular tissues, they are absent in bryophytes but present in teridophytes and phanerogams. Before that, what are bryophytes? Little body differentiation. Teridophytes, better body differentiation with vascular tissues. Phanerogams, better body differentiation with vascular tissues and reproductive structures. Okay, so if you consider the life cycle, the dominant generation in bryophyte is gametophyte, whereas it is sporophyte in case of teridophytes and phanerogams. In bryophytes, true roots, stems and leaves are absent. They have some stem-like structure, they have some leaf-like structure, but not true roots and leaves. Teridophytes, true roots, stems and leaves present. They are also present in phanerogams. Rhizoids are present in bryophytes. Now, bryophytes do not have roots, but they have small hair-like structures, which actually help in absorbing minerals and waters from the soil. But these rhizoids are absent in teridophytes and phanerogams. Bryophytes are cryptogamy, that is hidden reproductive system. We do not see the reproductive structure externally. So are the teridophytes, but in phanerogams, they have specialized reproductive structures. For example, the angiosperms are the gymnosperms. So we can see the male and female cones in gymnosperms. Similarly, we can see the flower in a angiosperm. So the reproductive structures are can be seen externally. Examples of bryophytes are mosses, liverworts. Examples of pteridophytes are ferns, marsilia, and phanerogams are pine, deodor, rose, etc. So this is a good distinction between bryophytes, pteridophytes, and phanerogams. Distinguish between dicots and monocots. Dicots, the name itself says two cotyledons. Monocots, one cotyledon. Dicots have broader leaves, monocots have narrower leaves. Vascular bundles present in both, but in dicots they are arranged in a ring, whereas in monocots they are scattered. The floral parts in dicots are in multiples of four or five, but in monocots the floral parts are in multiples of three. So these are some of the differences between dicots and monocots. 
So with this quick revision on the distinction, I hope that by now you would have understood that what are the different uh, subclassification of the plant kingdom. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.